Hey there, Mr. Weaver here, and this is 8th grade, module 3, lesson 2, write and solve equations with variables on each side. After this lesson, you need to be able to write linear equations in one variable with rational coefficients and use the properties of equality to solve them. Let's learn. Write and solve equations with variables on each side. You can represent many real-world problems using equations. For example, a music streaming website offers two plans. The first plan costs 99 cents per song, plus an initial fee of $25. The second plan costs $1.50 per song, plus an initial fee of $10. For how many songs will the two plans cost the same? So this is a situation where we could represent with an equation. When are they gonna cost the same? Now, in real life, we might not really care about when they're the same, but if we can figure out when they're the same, we can use what's actually important to us in real life, like figuring out when something is cheaper and for how much it is when they are cheaper. So here in our situation, we can represent this a couple ways. In words, we can see the first one has a fee of $25 plus it's 99 cents per song. And when is that the same as, so when is it equal to a fee of $10 plus $1.50 per song? In this situation, let's choose a variable that represents or goes with what is being talked about. So here we wanna know how many songs, so let's use S for the number of songs. And then in numbers, writing our actual equation, we could say that 25 plus 0.99S is the same as or equal to 10 plus 1.50S. Notice in our numbers, we took out the dollar signs. We do not need to write them in our equation. They will just confuse us, so please do not write them. Example one, write and solve equations with variables on each side. Green's Gym charges a one-time application fee of $50 plus $30 per session for a personal trainer. Breakout Gym charges an annual fee of $250 plus $10 for each session with a trainer. For how many sessions is the cost of the two plans the same? Write and solve an equation to represent this problem. Check your solution. So first part A, Let's write an equation to represent the problem. We want S to represent the number of something. In this case, we wanna know how many sessions we're talking about. So the fact that the question asks how many sessions, what it's asking how many of, that should be your variable. So S is gonna be the number of sessions. Now using that variable, let's write an equation to find when the two plans are equal to each other because it wants to know when are they the same. So sometimes it might ask when they're the same, sometimes it might ask when they are equal. You're still gonna use the equal sign. So when is Green's Gym equal to Breakout Gym? Green's Gym was a fee of 50 plus $30 per session. Breakout Gym, we see the $10 per session here, so we're missing the $250 fee. Now that we know our equation, 50 plus 30s is the same as 250 plus 10s. We want to know when, for how many s, how many sessions, are they the same? So let's solve for s. We're solving with a variable on both sides, so I'm going to subtract 10s from both sides to eliminate it off the right. 30 minus 10 is 20s. Bring down our 250. 50 plus 20s is now equal to 250, so subtract 50 from both sides to eliminate it off the left, I am left with 20s is equal to 200. Essentially what we just did there was we found the difference in the initial fees. So Breakout Gym cost $200 more in initial fees, but Green's Gym cost $20 more per session. So we need to know when those two balance each other out. So 20 sessions has to be equal to 200. We're gonna divide now by 20 to figure out how many sessions that will be. That is at 10 sessions. So the cost of both gyms would be the same for 10 sessions. And again, this is gonna be really important when we wanna figure out which gym we would wanna to go to. Are you planning on using less than 10 sessions, more than 10 sessions, or exactly 10 sessions? For exactly 10 sessions, it would not matter which you chose, they would be the same price. As we've been doing, let's make sure that we check our solution to be sure that we have done stuff correct. So if we plug in 10 in both equations for S, then calculate it out. So 50 plus 30 times 10, 30 times 10 is 300. 
plus 50. Green's Gym would cost $350 for 10 sessions. What about Breakout Gym? We have the original 250 plus 10 times 10, so 100, 250 plus 100. Are they the same price? Yes. So 10 is our value for our sessions that gives us the same price. So 10 must be correct. Check your understanding, read through the situation, and answer both parts. In part A, choose the equation that we could use to determine S, which is the seconds, and then B, how many seconds would it take? So actually solving the equation. Pause the video now and complete this check. Check your answer. First, you should have said B was our correct equation. Let's look and see why that is the correct choice. So a container has 130. It starts with 130 and it is being filled at a rate of one fourth gallon. So filled means the total is going up. We should see 130 plus one fourth for each second. And second is our variable since if we look, it says determine S the number of seconds. So S should stand for seconds, one fourth per second. We can see that here. We can see one fourth seconds here. We can see one fourth seconds here, but filling means you're adding water to it. So we want that plus sign. Really B is the only one that would work even after that. But in case this wasn't multiple choice, let's keep checking. Another container has 200 to start and it is draining at a rate of one third gallon each second. Draining means it's losing water. So we should see that it starts at 200 and it's losing one third each second. A is close, but it just has our fraction amount switched. B is our correct answer. Now, how many seconds will they have the same amount of water? That would be after 120 seconds. So two minutes. To solve this one, I would first make my fractions into common denominators. So four and three would be better with a denominator of 12. One fourth is the same as three twelfths. One third is the same as four twelfths. Now I can solve for this one. I'm just going to deal with my fractions instead of multiplying everything by 12. I don't really want to multiply 130 by 12. So here I would add four twelfths to both sides and I'm just going to rewrite. If I add four twelfths to three twelfths, I have seven twelfths. I would subtract 130 from both sides. It's gone there. 200 minus 130 is 70. So I have 7 twelfths times the number of seconds is equal to 70. And then I would do the reciprocal to get rid of the fraction. So times 12 sevenths. 70 divided by 7 is 10. 10 times 12 is 120. So seconds equals 120, which is what they said. Example 2. Write and solve equations with variables on each side. Ryan's Rentals charges $40 per day plus 25 cents per mile. Road Trips charges $25 per day plus 45 cents per mile. For what number of miles is the daily cost of renting a car the same? Write and solve an equation to represent this problem. Check your solution. So again, part A, let's write our equation. Here we want to know for what number of miles. So miles is what we want to find. Let's use a variable that makes sense for miles. M for miles. Write an equation for M miles when they are equal. So Ryan's rentals is 40 per day. That's not talking about miles, so it doesn't have the variable. 25 cents per mile. So 0.25 M. Again, remember we're getting rid of the dollar sign so we are not confused as we go through and solve. We can add it back in at the end. Road trips, $25 per day. That is talking about days, not miles, so it should not have the variable, and 45 cents per mile, so 0.45m. Now that we have our equation, we can solve for our variable. So here they're subtracting 0.25 to eliminate it off the left, and then we'd have 0.45m minus 0.25m on the left. So bringing stuff down, we got 40, bring down our 25, and then subtracting those two, I have 0.20m. Now I can subtract 25 from both sides to eliminate it off the right. 40 minus 25 is 15. Bring down what we didn't use. 
I have 15 is equal to 0 0.20 m, so I would last divide by 0 0.2 and I get 75. So the cost would be the same for 75 miles in one day. Last, let's double check to make sure that our solution we got does in fact make both companies have the same price. So if I plug in 75 for M, 0 0.25 times 75 is 18.75, add the 40, we get 58.75. So Ryan's rentals for 75 miles would cost $58.75. For road trips, plugging in 75, that would cost 33.75. And then plus the $25 fee, we'd have 58.75. So same price for both, we chose the correct value for our variable. Check your understanding, read through the situation, and again, choose the equation that best represents the situation and figure out the value for the variable in part B. Pause the video now and complete this check. Check your answer. E is our correct equation. So it's $7 for the first pound and 20 cents for each additional pound. The other shipping, five for the first pound and then 30 cents for each additional pound. We can represent that. Here's our originals and we're adding that value to it. Okay, A again looks pretty similar, but 20 cents goes with the seven, 30 cents goes with the five. So A has them backwards. For B, it has the correct values, but it has the wrong values with the variable. It's not 20 cents one time, where it should be $7 one time. 20 cents should be every pound after that. So B has the variables backwards, and then D is close, but we're talking about 20 cents, not $20. So C was the correct one. And for how many pounds were they the same? That is at 20 pounds. If we were to solve our correct equation, which is C, I have either subtracting 0 0.2 or subtracting 0 0.3. This one is less, so I'm gonna subtract the 0 0.2 from both sides. And when I do that, it's canceled off of the left side. 0 0.3 minus 0 0.20 gives me 0 0.1, or 10 cents, essentially. There's a difference of 10 cents in their pricing. $7, I would have to take away the five. Since I did the 20 cents on the left, I have to do the five on the right, so subtract five, I get two. How many times can 10 cents per pound B into two, so two divided by 0 0.1, and I end up with 20. So again, we're just solving with our variable on both sides by doing the opposite to eliminate the variable off of one side and then the constant off of the other so that I can solve for my variable.